And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Puffcap Plunder. Oh, that's already a tricky one to say. Yeah, we're, we're going to be teaming up Puffcaps with Teemo and Chumpwomp, mostly, you know, Teemo, giving them those Puffcaps with the uh, Plunder cards, uh, you know, and dealing damage to our opponent in multiple rounds, you know, putting Teemo with Sejuani. It does count, like if your opponent draws a Puffcap, that does count as you damaging their nexus for Sejuani. So we need, you know, if we have that happen in multiple rounds, we, uh, you know, we can level up our Sejuani. Then we're going to have some plunder cards. We have like Ursine Spirit Walker here, where if you have, if you have plunder, it's a five mana, six, six overwhelm. And all of your other allies with five plus power have overwhelm. I feel like this is a really underrated card and a card that I want to explore further because I haven't really played this card yet, but this is a card that on the outside looks really, really good, especially when you're able to plunder. And that that ability of giving, whoops, sorry, that ability of giving your other uh, five plus power allies overwhelm is gonna be important because we're gonna be playing uh, Averroes and Trapper. Get some Enraged Yetis. Like Enraged Yetis, awesome, right? A one mana five five, but you can just chump block Enraged Yeti forever. So we can pair it with the Spirit Walker and give it overwhelm. We can also grow the things in our deck with the help of Starlet Seer and Shared Spoils. Um, again, another plunder card that we can draw one of the top uh, units in our deck. Maybe that helps us draw our Enraged Yeti. Um, and then that's that's kind of what our deck's about. So this was a viewer submitted deck from yesterday, and uh, it looks really cool. And uh, yeah, wanted to try it. Uh, it's gonna be my first time playing the Tusk Raider. If we get to plunder, we can double the power and health of all the allies in our deck. That's pretty ridiculous. Um, we're also going to be playing some Tusk Raider later on today with the Tusk Raider Ramp. The two decks we didn't get to yesterday during our 12-hour stream, the Tusk Raider Ramp and Winter Karma. All right, but let's give this a try. We're going to puff cap plunder in Masters. We are going off the board with some puff caps. Where's our deck? We've got to go up. Here we go. Hey, WQ. Hey, Swear Slow. Welcome, welcome, y'all. All right, so I think we mulligan Sejuani just because it costs six mana. And I kind of want to mulligan Chumpwump, but maybe not. I don't want my Teemo to die. Can they not kill my Teemo? Please. Oh, why, why not Mulligan Thermogenic Beam? We don't need that in this matchup. At least not this early. I should Mulligan that. Yeah, Teemo's a... Yeah, Teemo's a good card. You can get a lot for one mana. It's just Teemo is very, very vulnerable. It's very easy to... Yeah, it's very easy to kill Teemo. That's just kind of how it is. Um, but Teemo is a magnet for removal. really difficult to uh, to have Teemo have such a big impact because it's so vulnerable. Yeah, they just didn't attack. It's always a good sign whenever, you know, you're just starting out and your first couple of turns, turn two and turn three, you draw eight mana cards. You have two eight mana cards in your deck and you draw them turn two and turn three. That's usually a sign that the game's going to be going well for you. Oh, 
dragon approaches. Well, that's unfortunate. You act, but do not see. That was a great turn for my opponent. Great turn for them. Just hoping to clear that up and you know get seven points of damage in and everything like that, but yeah, now I don't have removal for that thing anymore. I don't need a plan. Well, Tetuani is gonna be my removal. All right, grow that top thing twice. Whatever it's gonna be. You own what you take. No, I haven't. I haven't played any Sheriff at all in any deck. Sheriff Lariat, I believe. Sheriff Lariat Rose, 6 mana, 6-5, six, when I'm summoned to grant all enemies vulnerable. Pretty good card. Winter take you. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe we need to play that card more. It's Bilgewater, right? I should be frostbiting the shadow assassin and just just blocking. Was oh, she Demacia? Caps, plunders turned on. Across the seas and into battle. No, I wouldn't say Heimervai is the best deck. But I wouldn't really give you an answer on what is the best deck. Heimervai is very beatable and but basically everything is. So I don't think there is a best deck right now. I don't, I don't even really know what top three I'd give you. I don't know. Um, basically, just just Vi in general is awesome, and so Vi decks in general have looked good. And also Twisted Fate. Those are kind of like, like, and then kind of Karma. It's like Vi, Twisted Fate, Karma. Those three cards have like their hands in most of the top decks. Seems like those are the three cards to be playing. The calm before the storm. Possibly I just don't attack 
and just pass and they waste all this mana, but it's like how how am I winning? Ride onward. Close down. Weapons up. No, I'm probably supposed to attack. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's yep, there's not one one deck that's miles above the rest. And and if there if there is, like if that when that scenario pops up, then you know, each month there's a, a balance patch and they can balance. That's such a mess. Will of Ionia against six and eight mana cards. I think Will of Ionia wins, especially when Will of Ionia is attached to free four ones. We're in a lot of trouble. By a lot of trouble, I mean this game's over. If they have no burn and no removal, you know, like if they used all their Will of Ionias and if they have no burn, maybe we can win this with a huge Overwhelm Sedgwani. Maybe. Just so mean. So I'm not dead yet. Or am I dead yet? At least we have a 22-26 Edwani. Why don't you just do that in the first place? What do you think Frel Yord P and Z is gonna have? Ugh, that is mean. Our Redinger player is mean. That card's ridiculous. What's up, Kendis? Yeah, Candice, yesterday you said dealer's choice with your donation deck, and this is what I chose. Puff Cap Plunder. We're going. Um, and yeah, I wanted to play it play it early. Um, uh, person out here. Do, do, do. There we go. Um... What are we doing? Callista Lee Sin. Oh, let's get rid of that. Let's keep those. We're doing some crazy stuff with puff caps and getting plunder triggers. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Our first game. Alright, we got our turn one Teemo champion. Let's go. My opponent just had a whole bunch of Will of Ionias, and they also had Heimerdinger, and I was saying. Hold this. 
Can you hold this? What are you trying to do? Kill my Teemo? an enraged yeti at least, at least they're doing that right now I guess I keep, I guess that does mean I don't get to attack with Timo because they get to you know, burst speed, put this back, put that back into play. For one mana, that's pretty good. Nope, just one mana, 5-5. Five, five. Um, this isn't like a normal card. Wow, they just, they just did that. That's pretty awesome. That's not a normal card you can just put in your deck. You can't just have a one, a one mana, 5-5 five, five in your deck. Which, because yeah, that would be really busted. It's this card here, this 3 mana 3-3. Three, three. Whenever you play this, you put this 1 mana 5-5 five, five in the top 3 cards of your deck. So you, so you just randomly you know, it gets generated in, in your top 3 cards of your deck. Um, I don't have a plunder trigger for the Spirit Walker. I kind of want to have a plunder trigger for that. Yeah, no problem. Alright, so the next card's got to be our other 5-5, five because five, then this one made a new one. What am I doing? Play this first. You own what you take. Bounce Sejuani. If I do this, they grasp the Undying here, or they Will of Ionia here. I guess I'd rather play around Will of Ionia than grasp the Undying. So Will of Ionia, we just kind of play the Sejuani again next turn, and that's fine. No, to tokens in, in magic, uh, yeah, they get, um, if you bounce a token to hand, it just, they just go away. They can't, like, leave the, the battlefield zone and come back, but they can in this game. The tokens have mana cost, like the generated cards, and you can, if they get bounced, you can replay them. There is. Yep, you just do exclamation point card, and then the name of the card. Hawktie Bot. There's our enraged yeti. One candle for every soul. No. What did you catch? I 
guess I just have to play this as a 4 6. So I should, and then just go straight to attacks next turn. Like, that should be my play. Hmm. They have a 5 out of 24 chance to draw a puff cap, and then this would be turned on. I think I just play this. Let's go attack, attack, attack. Let's see. I like attacking low amount to high amount. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what the companions are, but. Champions are kind of like planeswalkers, I suppose. I mean, they're they're more like legendary creatures, but um, but they're also kind of planeswalkers because they are the characters that like the game storyline, all that kind of stuff is built around. And there is a limit to how many of them you can have in your deck. You can only have six total champions out of your 40 cards. So you can't just, like, you know, play decks with all the champions and everything. Because they are more, more powerful than the regular cards. A lot of trouble here because they have Callista rekindler combo that's really bad for me hey Ruth Oh, right, they have that thing. Okay, so they don't have Gary Kindler. So that's a 5-5. Five, five. Gross. I really need to have one of these block there. That was a good play by them. Hmm. So let's have 4-2 block here. Right now, I'm only having one thing die. No, I'm having two things die. Right, right, right. Bring me chaos. Hmm. Been staying alive, the lifesteal barrier was really nice. Still survive this attack. Beauty charms while claws take hold. That's a good combo. It's 
Don't think we're winning this now. I think Callista's gonna take over. Too many cards in hand. I got nothing. It's like, the trappers are good. But the problem with the trappers are you are priced into just drawing just, you know, unit. You know, like you're drawing like these allies for the next few turns. Basically, the thing that really... The thing that probably cost me the game the most was not getting the plunder on that 4-6, not turning it into something with plunder. You know, that and, and the... I mean, well, obviously the Rekindler, Rekindler Callista. Gained a bunch of life. Gained a bunch of life. Yeah, it does feel like our deck needs more card draw, doesn't it? Because we don't really have card draw. Like, the first game, you know, like, we were just stuck with all those super expensive cards in hand with just Sejuani's and Tusk Raiders, and we couldn't do anything about it. And, you know, like, this game we have all those trappers. They're drawing the 5-5s, five which is good, but if we don't win, you know, again, we don't, we can't really do anything about it. Yeah, the 3-1 Frostbite hasn't looked good. Maybe that is just, like, the 2-1 that draws a card would be better. Yeah, a little devil. I I play live devil. I've played everything, but I have oh have I have I tried Jinx in this specific deck? No, I've never played this deck before. This is a a viewer submitted deck. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. spells are in this deck compared to units. 17 spells, 23 non-spells. I seem like we needed more spells. Yeah, we're playing the same person again. Sapling actually a good card? It has looked great against me, but I'm also playing Teemo. Is it like actually good against people that don't play Teemo? Every 
everyone's a garden. The, the rose shall find their vengeance. That we'll have to see. Grow free. An auspicious season. Please don't have rekindler. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah, it, it works great with Clista level up for sure. But it's actually work good in normal circumstances. Yeah, I mean, Rekindler won them last game, and they'll probably win them the game again if they have it. So I hope not. <sighs> All right, yeah, hope yeah, hope they draw a puff cap. At the game of turn. Not now, I need to I need you two at the beginning of the turn. I mean, I, I'll take that still, but draw one right here. No. I mean, nice. We would have had the Spirit Walker and the Trapper together. Do they have two spells to cast to give that barrier? I will not hold back. It's too late for you. Because 
if we hit them with with either of these, then we will frostbite them so that like you know I don't have to worry about the Starlet Seer taking damage. Act free of dark. So whenever first time we damage the enemy Nexus each round, to frostbite all enemies. Hey Rex. So that's my plan, you know, damage the enemy Nexus with this. That's why we need you in play to give these overwhelm. Not drawing puff caps, you need more. No, draw some puff caps. I think we'll still have this. You know, we can do damage to their nexus with one of our spells and frostbite their stuff. You know, they like play two spells and give this like with their two mana and give this a barrier, it'll still be frostbitten from the static shock. I will not hold back. As the dragon will. Oh, it gets bounced back to my hand, huh? Alright, whatever. I just want to play this thing. I don't have any more mana. Let's give these all overwhelm. Oh, right. Mm. Maybe I should have Mystic Shot of that. Alright, they're down to four. Come on, a few more puff caps. Not sure how they're gonna survive this. Eh, that could be that could be how. What did we catch? They need like deny also. There you are. Yeah, Retrov, you can yeah. Yeah, you don't, um, I also do donation decks that are, that are, uh, $10. You can also do that besides channel points or, um, or if you just want, yeah, if you just have like a deck list of link, I'll save it and, uh, you know, maybe get, you know, get to it at, at some point. But like, if you want, if you want me to specifically play a deck, um, on any, in any time slot. It's either a $10 donation for a donation deck or the channel points. Yeah, definitely okay to post deck list. Always. Alright, got that first one. See if 
if it works. There it is. So Yasuo. Okay. Yasuo Swain going with Crimson Curator. Curator. So yeah, that's that's real close. You know, it's real close to my Yasuo Swain deck. A, you know, a couple of different card choices, but has the like which which cards have you been really impressed with? With it. Because <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just like the the deck we played yesterday. Just a Have you seen my version of, of that same deck? The Yasuo Swain deck? Spring into big savings ah. with Yeah. It's... Okay, you do like the Crimson 3 drop a lot? Okay, good to know. Elise by. We didn't live the turn one Teemo attacking dream. Alright, cool, Candace. So yeah, so you want that to be a, a donation deck? Okay. Okay. That's that's good to know. So yeah, you went on a, a win streak with this version uh versus the burn deck. That's good to know. All right, well, I will save it and play it soon. Is there... So, Retrov... Um... Put on the trail. Kendis actually spent spent the points to have your deck be a, a donation deck. Is there... By snow and stars. Um... Is there a specific day that you'd like me to, to play it? Would it be good for you? That's a good card to hit with the Starlets here, with the Overwhelm. I thought that we were going to just be hitting um, Enraged Yeti. I was pretty sure on that. That's good. Yeah, one mana six six, still not bad. But it's just it's one mana six six doesn't really get through hapless aristocrat. Unfortunately. This would be a good winter. I'm through waiting. You have to get me out of here. Okay, cool, Retrov. All right, well, I will play that soon. Blessed by snow and stars. Looks like we got some big Sejuanis.
Man, I'm thinking about just mystic shotting this thing so they can't block with it. Because the vulnerable is only for this round. I don't want them to just to block my 6-3. I'm going to Mystic Shot this. I mean, obviously, I would much rather Static Shock, but I don't have the mana to Static Shock. And I don't want to untap and then do that and then let them play a Brood Awakening and get a bunch of spiders or whatever. Oh, no. But now I want to play Teemo and attack with Teemo. But we're not, we can't. We have to go straight to combat. And I'm sad. Um... Well, if they had Ruination, they would have just played that. I, it's, yeah, I could have, I could have played the Fury first, but they could have just Grasp the Undying, Withering Whale, um, Vengeance. Like, basically, if they just have any removal spell, it's not lethal. It's not like it was a guaranteed thing. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have the plunder for, to double the power and health of allies in the deck, but oh well. I'm still playing it, so we can go right to attacks. Stand and fight. And you do. Whoa, we're 23 and 2. <laughs> it's alright, Mr. Cho. All good, welcome. You're coming in to our fifth and final game with Puff Cap Plunder. We're 2 and 2. Let's see if we get that winning record to start the day off with. That would be really nice. That would be really nice. But yeah, thank you, Candace. Oh, this was our first loss. Heimerdinger and millions of turrets caused us to lose the first one. Yeah, it's true. Starlet on turn two. Especially with the Elixir of Iron that protected the Starlet. That was really nice. Elixir of Iron's awesome. Kind of have a more aggressive PNZ Freljord deck with Teemo, Starlet Seer, Omen Hawk, and Boom Crew Rookie. And so... You know, you could have turn one Omen Hawk that sets up Starlet Seer or Boom Crew Rookie. Maybe even grow Teemo. Yeah, both both of those one drops are awesome, Teemo and um, Omen Hawk, and then both the two drops are awesome. So I want something to do with all three of those. Playing the Chump Lump uses my mana a lot better than playing the Enraged Yeti would. No, Braum is... 
Unfortunately, the weakest the weakest champion in the game. There isn't really a, a great Braum deck. But yeah, he does have some synergy, yep, with the Crimson stuff, and, you know, you can play, you know, he, he's definitely playable, he's got some synergy, and, and there's games that he can he can take over, but just not very consistent, and a lot of commonly played removal spells really break up its plan. Um, and you have to have other cards to help turn him on, because he starts with zero power himself. Let's see. What did we catch? Start here. Yeah, I do want to play uh, Snapvine. I like Snapvine quite a bit. I'm through waiting. It's too late for you. Like, yeah, maybe put, put Snapvine in that Monkey Prankster deck at the top end. Is Snapvine just like a three of in that deck? You think? Why are you always trying to kill my trapper? My trapper keeper. Cause yeah, each each follower you summon, you kill it and then make a make a four three, so you get all of those die triggers. Ooh, which pet? Master. Um. Alright, let's give him these mushrooms. Hope they start drawing them, taking damage. The powder monkey's pretty good. I'll, I'll have to. I need to take a take a look at him in the menu, see if there's really one that I. I uh, suggest. We'll, we'll take a look at him in the menu right after this. Get it? Could she punch his stuff? Get it? Draw those puff caps. How many get? All right, that's two. They're down to six. If I just attack straight out, they block the 6-6 six, six and probably, like, Mystic Shot my 3-2. Um... Let's play Sejuani. I could still have, like, Will of Ionia bounce and then Mystic Shot. That'd be worst case scenario. Or, you know, same thing with, like, Blocker, Mystic Shot, I suppose. No, Blocker isn't as bad for me. Alright, still force them to use all those. We should get some overwhelm damage in with the Sejuani, hopefully. We haven't really showed them direct damage. 
Darn. So maybe just take five. Face me, coward. That was a good turn for them. That was a good turn for them. Yes, even though they gained life, yes, we did get, we did damage the enemy nexus, so yeah, we did go towards leveling up. Sejuani in that attack. There's a puff cap. Say they had three spells that cost six or more because they played three Flash of Brilliances. Cool. Got Frostbitten. And boom, there we go. Alright. We turned it around. We started 0 and 2, came back for that clutch 3 and 2, including beating the deck that we lost to the first round. Hey, Honor, you just came by to say hate Unyielding Spirit. I'm sorry about that. All right, so GG. So our, our Sejuani Teemo Puff Cap Plunder with the winning record. Three and two. <laughs> Teemo is the dreamo. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd say Icefield Archer did look kind of bad. That, that probably was our worst card. Um, shared spoils didn't look great either, but it was okay. I mean, you, you definitely want spells for Starlet Seer. But yeah, just a, a different two drop would have been better. You know, I ba basically, yeah, <laughs> any, t any other two drop or any three drop. Um, I guess we don't really have other. So if I put in a three drop, only Starlet Seer would be our only two, because I kind of want to play Puff Cat Peddler. In this kind of deck. But maybe you need... Maybe you need another two. I think it's either Puff Cat Peddler or Boom Crew Rookie. Easy way to turn on Plunder, by the way. Attacking with Boom Crew Rookie. I think you probably play one of those two, but I'm not sure which one. Probably Boom Crew Rookie. But yeah, I would recommend taking it out. Ice Hill Archer for the Rook. Help. 
turn on those plundas. But with that being said, I would really like Puff Cat Peddler. The problem with playing Peddler, though, and, you know, playing Peddler over Trapper, is you never want to get into combat with Peddler, right? You want it just to stay out there. And so if you already have Starlet Seer that you don't want to get into combat with, and then you also have Peddler that you don't want to get into combat with, you're just going to find yourself too far behind. So it's kind of nice having Trapper that, you know, you can keep attacking with your Trapper Keeper and have your extra Enraged Yetis to do all the combat stuff also. Um... But yeah, the Sizefield Archer was out of, out of place. So trade that out for a Rook. And that would probably make that deck a lot better. But it was still, still pretty good. Still pretty good. Okay, so awesome. So good, good deck starting out for today. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And let me know what you think of the deck. You know, use that comment section. Got any questions? Let me know. I'll throw them out there. Um, but yeah, Puff Cat Plunder. I think this looked pretty competitive. I have to say, especially for, you know, playing Teemo. Cool little deck. All right. Anyway, thank you so much for watching some Puff Cat Plunder, and I'll see you for the next video.